Stream 5. You. One day, we'll get back to you. One day I will have the nerve. That day is not today. So we are on our fifth stream. Uh, hours. Probably our 20th hour or so. Of Pokemon Scarlet. We have seven gym badges, five titans, and three bases. We, depending on how long we go and how well I do, we could finish it today. Finish, like, the main storyline anyway. And defeat the final boss who, to our surprise, was Arvin. Who knew? Uh, I did play some more off-stream between yesterday and today. I went back to the cave where that Lucario was, and I did catch the Lucario. The uh, level 5 boss Lucario. There's a gimme ghoul. Is that a gimme ghoul noise? That must be. Where is it? I didn't know they could appear on top of Pokemon Centers. Just one coin. Good legs. Uh, so I went and I did. I caught that Lucario that we saw. And on my way out of the cave, I ran into this thing. Frigibax. It's kind of a kind of a dumb looking little thing. But uh, it's Dragon Ice, and it was in a cave, which is where the likes of, like, Larvitar and Dino appear. I'm wondering if this is the pseudo for this gen. Boost the attack stat when the Pokemon is hit by a fire-type move. Also cannot be burned. Interesting ability. But uh, Dragon Ice is nice coverage. So I'm curious how this thing... Uh, I'm curious what this will evolve to. I think I'm going to try to... Uh, I'm going to keep it with me, this stream. Uh, what else? I have Ralts in the party for the time being. Sorry, Curlia now. That one is the pseudo. Okay, that's what I thought. It's a dumb-looking first form, but maybe it'll turn into something cooler. They usually do. As far as coverage goes, uh, boy, if this is my final, t if this is my final team, it, fire and flying would be a nice thing to include. I don't really want to have like a Talon flame though. I don't know. It's still a little bit in the air. I feel like I could tweak the team before the uh, before I get to the the very end of this playthrough. I might still replace Ralts. Oh, there's just a wild Glaceon. Hello. No! There's an aggro wild Glaceon. I wonder... So, on Pokemon Showdown... Are Hail and Snowscape just going to be treated as two separate moves, or are they going to uh, replace Hail? Because they've never just, like, replaced a move or a weather condition before. It's, it's a very weird situation. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, all of my Stone Edge PP on this random Wild Glaceon. I could capture it, but I just bred a bunch of uh, a bunch of EV eggs, so I'll just I'll use the stones on my EVs. And back to the Pokemon Center. It changes based on what gen you're playing. I see. Interesting. I guess that makes sense.
was I just doing? Uh, do I have a PP up? Some more Stone Edge PP would be nice. PP up. I have one PP up. I would like more than one, but uh, I'm not, I got nothing better to use it on, I guess. I'll pro I'll probably replace Ralts if I find a good replacement. Uh, without her, I guess uh, a psychic would be good to have. Are there any good like uh, fire psychic types? I might have to. May maybe I'll have to. Maybe I'll have to bring the crocodile back. Maybe I'll have to keep my ugly baby after all. Hello, Clive. How is the, uh... How's the fairy base? How tough are they? What do you think of Cassiopeia? It's a mystery. They're a bag of riddles. Did you ever evolve Charcadet? I have not. I don't know... I, I never got an answer as to where the evolution item is. Is it something that I'll be given? I just kind of assumed it was like an Area Zero or something. I know that the item is version exclusive. Once again, Clive says nothing of importance on our way into the base. Hello, I just no, I just wanted to get the the item. I will return when it's time for the young master's piano lesson. Okay. Just, pe people don't care that it's like a Mad Max style militarized base with a fucking alarm bell on the front. They just go about their business. The piano teacher comes in and out. Hello, good day, Team Star. From a random NPC you have to trade 10 Bronzor items for. Okay, that's easily missable. Who, who is the young master? Harrington. Yes, this is the base of Team Star's ferry crew. The Ruchba Rukba squad? The Rutabaga squad, led by young Master Ortega. I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. I, I'm sorry, it's a secret? Sorry. She might be here to try to take us on. Uh, yeah, sure. That that's why I'm here. Okay. What is with uh, so these last few bases, we're not even fighting team team uh, star grunts at the gate. It's just random passersby. We're like, hey, Team Star's pretty cool. Can I be an honorary member? I'm the piano teacher. He looks like, uh... He kind of looks like Walt Disney. Down after the electric gym. I'll, I'll take a look at my map after this battle. Maybe, maybe I can get the Serum Ledge item. Although, uh... Or sorry, the Charcadet. Uh, the evolution in Scarlet is... That's like the buff one, right? Serum Ledge is in Violet. Oh. I looked away and I died. This dark fairy. Play rough will work. My higher level mons are at a good level for this. Uh, Junior and Mousehold are on, on, on the lower side. They're still low 40s. I think you might actually get the fire psychic one. 
Interesting. That would be exactly what I was hoping for for my final party member. Hat room. Uh, is it hat from pure fairy or is it fairy psychic? I don't remember. Nothing a giant hammer can't solve. That would be another reason I guess everyone would be getting Scarlet, is if uh, it's the version with Serilege. Because I know that is... I don't know any details about the Pokemon. I know it is a popular Pokemon that many people have been talking about. Some kind of cool Shadow Knight looking thing. I should have faked out. Missed that opportunity. All right, you know what? I will, uh, I will put Raven aside. And I will probably use Sarah Ledge if it, if I do get a fire psychic type. And if not, I'll just, I'll fall back on my ugly baby. I'll, I'll, I will return the crocodile to my party. Yes, or Ortega is, is hot shit. He or she will be very challenging, I'm sure. Hasta la vista. That gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I think. That's what I heard. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something. Shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Oh, okay. I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job, Snake. We just need the Rutabaga squad, the mechanic of the team. Okay, so this is the person responsible for these these weird... It's not the fact that they're turned into cars, it's the fact that this, this magician has managed to completely change a Pokemon's type. Battle skill. No, I'm not worried about this person's magic, uh, the battle skills. I'm worried about the fact that they have blatant magic. Alright, lead from the back type, short fuse. Very, uh, My Hero Academia villain type of character. The same, same spiel as, as is always the case. They could really shorten these, uh, these Team Star, like, base intro cutscenes. Is this Floet or Flabebe? I think it's Floet. Yeah. I do want the different colors, though, so I'll catch this. This makes sense. This is in front of the ferry base. This would be a place they would congregate. Wow, the uh, the frame rate does not like terrain. Can we improve it? Maybe if we look away from other Pokemon. Yeah, that's better. We just have to look towards the base. We never got that, uh, that mystical floet. The one that, uh... That the dude in XY had. There was a special type of floet, a floet with its own signature move that uh, was in the game's code, but uh, never came out in any event, any event or anything. 
And that signature move to this day has never been uh, legally obtainable, to my knowledge. Uh, the... Okay. Uh, place after the electric gym. So this, this was electric town. Uh, Zappa... This place? Is that... That's the next town after the electric gym. Zappa Pico. I'll bet I only get one of these items. I guess I should be, like, really sure I have a good Char Cadet to use it on. What do I want for Sarah Ledge? I assume... Is it a physical or a special attacker? You can get infinite. Oh, great. Okay, that's perfect. I'm glad we're past the days of only having one such item for, uh, per, pi per file. I was on the verge of fainting a little ways outside town when a wild Pokemon Center lady appeared and came to my rescue. A wild Pokemon Center lady. You want special attack for what you're getting. Okay. Because uh, I've seen the other form. The other form is like a big buff thing. Is it like, uh, is it a firefighting type? From a random NPC in this, this backwoods town. You really just gotta talk to everybody. Which I guess isn't that weird for RPGs, but it's a little bit tiring. What's my team looking like? doesn't know he's got it backwards. What do I have backwards? Are there Bronzor around here? I don't remember where Bronzor are at. I'd also probably get more from fighting Bronzong, wouldn't I? I don't think this... This game doesn't keep track of, like, the last thing you looked at in the Pokedex. Which, uh, that kind of sucks. You have to start from the very beginning every time, and it's like a 400 entry long Pokedex. Two for every Bronzong. Okay. Well, I know where Bronzong are. I saw them all over the mountain. That's probably way more common than, uh, than Bronzor are. Where's the mountain? Mountain is up here. I wonder what I want to... I, I can just, like, use auto battle on Bronzongs. I just wonder what, uh... What would be the best Pokemon to do it with, because... I don't have anything with a tremendous type advantage on Bronzong. Maybe I'll just, uh, maybe I'll just take the opportunity to level up Junior a bit. We can show off the auto battle because we haven't really used that feature on stream. There's not a lot of reason to do it most of the time, unless you're, like, doing what I'm about to do and grinding. Grinding for drop items. Or just grinding in general. Hello, Elf King. Uh! 
Where's the snowy bits? Give me the bronze zongs. There's the snowy bits. Elf. I am in the process of trying to get the evolution item for Charcadet. What is that? That's the psychic bird. Hey, isn't that is that a psychic flying type, the bird? You still want to actually battle Pokemon for EXP grinding. Why why is that? Alright, let's see how badly this goes. It's technically a type disadvantage because Steel Rock. Get down here, you shit! Well, ground steel. I, d I don't know how much this considers, like, full type advantage. It, it considers type advantages, but I don't know exactly how Auto Battle calculates it. Bronzong is a psychic type. Yeah, it's, it's psychic steel. This one is part tree type. Like, auto battle only considers, like, type and level difference. It doesn't consider, like, if Bronzong has levitate against a ground type. It, that, that's not a factor. Hello, Santa. I haven't got it. I haven't caught a deli bird yet. I could I could grab that one. Look at all them bronze ore fragments. I do appreciate this because it it's so much faster than loading the battle screen. Are there any wild Gengar in this game? Or am I going to have to, uh, am I going to have to trade someone to evolve my haunter, haunter? What is that? That's the dog. I might have ten by now. How do I... Bag. Oh, there's the, there's the... Items. There's so many. Barboach slime. Bronzer fragment. 13. Alright, we're good. Yeah, it didn't take long. In the electric gym town, there's an NPC that will trade you a haunter. Okay. I don't know why I get lost on this map so easily. What other trade evolutions are in this game? I know there's a couple of them that they've introduced other methods to evolving, and boy do I appreciate that. Yes, I will trade you the fragments. Weirdo. Auspicious armor. Auspicious wishes live within it. Auspicious. Just caught Scizor from a raid battle. That's also nice that you can catch uh, you can catch some Pokemon in their trade evolved forms just from wild encounters. So what is my Char Cadet like? I haven't looked at I haven't looked at him in quite a while. I traded Jack the first one I caught. I caught a, a different one. Watch it be a, a reduced special attack, Char Cadet. Reduced attack, increased def uh, special defense. I can change that. We have uh, there's items that do that now. It's a calm. 
I assume that I, I I don't know how good or bad it is, but I can get more of them in the future, so that makes it significantly lower risk. We just put him there. Put Curlia back. Sorry, Dolphin. You just weren't cool enough. All right. the item it's uh, other items right yeah all the way at the bottom after the terra shards even i wonder if i should have seen what moves it could learn first most evolutions can still learn all the pre-evolution moves uh no i don't i don't get the cool one i don't get the fire psychic that that seems to be violet Wait, no, it is Fire Psychic. What's So, so what's Sarah Ledge? Is it Fire Ghost? This doesn't look like a Psychic type. What kind what kind of Psychic type Pokémon is though is a warrior class? I'll give it a shot, I guess. Uh, let's see. Special attacker. But I have a move that can deal physical damage. Uh. Probably don't need flame charge. The speed boost is nice, but, uh. What else do I got? What TMs can I give it? I have a Psybeam TM. Wait, that's only 65 power? You can give it Confuse Ray. Could be useful. Uh, flame Charge again. Physical power. Stored power. Steel move. Dark pulse. Shadow ball. I don't have a water type, do I? Ooh, flamethrower. I guess, like, uh, Flamethrower and Psybeam would be the best I can do. Don't need Incinerate. Will-O-Wisp. Now, do I want... Shadow Ball could be nice to have. It's a special move. Other options are Confuse Ray and uh, Psy Beam. It's amazing coverage for psychic types. Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse. Yeah. Well, I already have. I have a Tyran. I will have Tyranitar for psychic types, so I'm not too worried about that, but. Uh, Coverage is nice. That's why I'm a little... This is the only reason that I'm hesitant to give him uh, two psychic moves, even if one is physical and one is special damage. Okay, now, do I want to replace Will-O-Wisp? That's the last thing. Do I want Burn or do I want Confusion? I guess Burn. Burn is, burn is pretty useful. All right, I, I will I will give Armor Rouge a chance for a while. She's gonna have to level a little bit. It's even if it's even female.
How do I how do I rename? Oh, hold on. Gotta grab my keyboard. <clears throat> There you go, you nerds. Did everyone call them this? Did everyone call their armor rouge sauna, uh, Samus? All right, so I got uh, I got her to level up, and I've got the pseudo to level up, and see what that turns into. It's still possible that I might not like the uh, pseudo's final form. And I could uh, swap that out for something else. Alright, back to the ferry base. There was a place I found out that I hadn't been to. I had I unlocked this Pokemon Center off screen. And th this area. I never went up here. I guess that makes sense, because that's towards the uh, fighting base. But uh, apparently you can catch wild... What's it? The 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 lichen rock in uh in dusk form. Those no longer event only. You can do, you can get a a wild lichen rock with own tempo, or whatever it takes to uh. Signature move is all the way at level 62. Is it an especially good signature move? It must be at that level. Speaking of, oh, hello, Glalie. And a Frostlass. You two are, uh, you two are good EXP. Wait, no, come back. I wanted to fight you! It ran away. A special fire 120 base power fire move. Interesting. I'm going to the I'm going to the ferry base, but I, I want to use these two for some uh, some nice free exp. Oh, that might kill me. Ah! Oh! Once again, I have overestimated Junior's ability to take a hit. Junior will never be a Tyranitar. Skitter smack. I'm sorry, what? Skitters behind the target to attack also lowers the target's special attack stat. Why is it learning a bug move? Uh. Hmm. Well, it's coverage. It's not a particularly useful uh, secondary ability, but... Is it worth keeping fake out? It doesn't have a... Uh... It's a nice novelty, but it's not usually that impactful in a fight. I can always relearn it if I want to. Uh, once again, if you guys want to join the on-stream party, I don't mind, just let me know. Might as well take advantage of this stupid multiplayer feature. All right, this time I, I the 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 Glalie is not. Wait, it is an Ice type. No, it could still very easily kill Junior. I want to go for it anyway, though. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. They're not rare. I thought I thought this was like a special pair of Pokemon that I wasn't gonna see too many more. Glalie is also deceptively fast. Kind of 
copycat. I don't think I need copycat. Nah, I'm good. That's what I wanted to check. Uh, what moves? Are there any that it can remember? Fire spin, mystical fire. What were special attack stat? Ah, flame. I'd, I'd rather. I'm, I'll stick with flamethrower. What about you? Uh, dragon breath. It's a physical attacker. Dragon tail. As opposed to dragon claw. I don't need takedown. All right, to the base. In theory, it's a good thing it's not a Tyranitar yet, because it will be uh, less vulnerable to uh, fairy types. I say that. Given its track record on this stream, Junior will still probably get one shot by everything it comes into contact with. It doesn't like this flower field area. The game cannot handle flowers. Uh, it's like the swamps in, in Diamond Pearl. You just gotta, you gotta slog through it. I found five Tyranitar raid battles in a row this morning. I found a four-star electric Tyranitar. I didn't do it, because I didn't really feel the need to do it. When do, uh, when do ability patches start dropping? Do you need six star raids for that? I don't know if I should be doing like four star raids, if there's any reason for me to, if I don't want to uh, get the Pokemon. Haven't gotten an ability patch yet. Six star only. Okay, that makes sense. Elf mentioned he finally got a uh, an Herba Mystica, which is apparently a usable item in this game, and it increases shiny rates to an absurd degree. Tyranitar and Salamence are version exclusive event rates. That's nice. I still don't really need one. Alright. Well, this is a lovely place for a base. If I were a high school delinquent, I would have a base here. Unfo well, except... I would have to get used to the frame rates. I would have to get used to uh, moving at low speed everywhere I went because of the abundant flowers in the area. I'm sorry, that Wigglytuff just, like, float? I get- I get that they're the balloon Pokémon, Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. I just- I never have seen them behave in that way. They don't do that in the anime, do they? Just float around everywhere? I haven't seen the frame rate this bad since we did the Sunflora gym challenge.
I guess I don't need to, like, keep my distance. I, I'm used to doing that around Pokemon, because I don't want to start, like, a battle scene. It's also really bad in Tag 3 Thicket. I, I don't remember. I, I believe you. I found, uh, I found some, uh, Oranguru. They're not particularly rare. I just, I didn't see any the first time that I was there. I'll smash it with a hammer! Alright, bring out your big pink car. So in theory, since this is the mechanic, he or she should have the best car. That would track, right? Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little beefier? I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose to you anyway. I think fairy types are all about cuteness. If you think fairy types are all about cuteness. I got that completely backwards. Okay, so what what's what's their gimmick? They're like a bandstand, a member of the school band. That was a kill the kill character. She had a band gimmick. Uh, that's a water, that's water fairy. I don't want to be using Junior. Uh, boy, if Breloom had any grass moves, but it doesn't. Once again, I will fall back on my giant hammer. That's going to be neutral, though, because it's also water type. Oh, there's all the flowers even in the battlefield. You have access to the Seed Bomb TM. I do have it. I uh, I chose Drain Punch over Seed Bomb because I like the uh, I like the the heal effect, and I only have room for one offensive move on. On uh, Brello. This might be an uphill battle. Amy's gonna need a revive. You can interchange them. Yeah, that's true. I could also, well, if I get rid of Spore, will I, be, will I be able to relearn it? I went through all the trouble of having that, uh, of having the, uh, the Shroomish learn it before it evolved. But it's also, like, the least important move on there. I, I usually use Stun Spore for wild Pokemon. All right, Wigglytuff, normal fairy. So Drain Punch will be neutral. Spore is still useful, though. Could have played Stun Spore temporarily. Really, the only reason to use Stun Spore instead of Spore is uh, the Insomnia ability or uh, Convenience, because I don't like having to re-Spore them every time they wake up again. I will say it is less convenient to not have a Grass-type move, though, so I'll, I'll probably replace Stun Spore after this battle.
Now to use False Swipe to finish the job. Datch Bun. That's the, that's the bagel evolution, isn't it? Uh, what do I have for that? Uh, I guess I can try Junior. I really need to, I, I need to revive Amy. Some, something is going to have to die. Level 51. Uh, I'm probably not going to be faster than it. There's a slick move coming. Fortunately, Junior at least has some physical defense. However, it is just not... It's not leveled enough to take on this Mon. Sorry, Junior. Once again, you're going down. However, at least this time, your death will not be in vain. You will never be a Tyranitar. I could increase the PP of Gigaton Hammer, I guess. Although I, I don't really run out of PP for that as much as I would Stone Age, because I can't use it twice in one battle. Oh, I don't get the chance to change Pokemon when they send out their uh, their car. Well, I do want to swap out because it's going to, uh... Brelum doesn't need more, uh, more experience. It's probably not going to use a fairy move because I was a steel type. No, it's using a steel move. Oh, just like that? The mist is gone? I thought it lasted like five turns. Oh, Steel Roller probably has an effect that gets rid of terrain. Okay, so Ice Spinner and Steel Roller are both presumably new moves that do that. Uh, 77. Spore is a lot better than Sun for Stun Spore for catching anyway. Seal Roller was actually Sword and Shield. Who had Steel Roller in, in Sword Shield? There it goes. It was a DLC t move tutor move. So it wasn't any, any, like, creature's signature move then. I've been using Spore at the start of a wild encounter a whole lot. But that's mostly because, you know, my Pokemon are still in their 40s, so they're running into things that... I, I'm trying to catch things that are higher level than I probably should be. What is it? Oh, that's right. I have a Dark Terra type. I definitely don't want to do that. It just... It doesn't have anything that can deal with a hammer. 
in a surprise to nobody, a giant hammer is the perfect cool, the perfect tool for demolishing a car. Elf mentioned off-stream. Apparently, Tinkaton does not actually have a very impressive attack stat. I've got a pretty decent one, I, I think, as as far as like relative to other Tinkatons. But uh, even so, you would think it to be this slow, lumbering, hard-hitting thing, but uh, no, it has decent speed and pretty low attack, actually. How could I lose? What the heck? A year and a half ago. Every, everything changed a year and a half ago. Alright, Ortega was building the Starmobiles a year and a half ago. And, uh, I, I guess... The engine Pokemon. Was it not here yet? Did, did it come from another region? I want to see the looks on our bullies' faces after we get this car moving. Yeah. It is uh, definitely... It, it's... This is a very eclectic set of character gimmicks. You have a, a, a like an effeminate fairy type mechanic character. Mila feels like the most normal, the most traditional. She's like a, like a, a, a lady punk rocker. When we joined Team Team Star, we just swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Did did y'all have bags of cash? Were these rich kids? I also don't remember. Did she have a char cadet? Oh, that was a thing. There was there was like a little there was a char cadet that uh, Clive brought back to her. That was part of the 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 Mela storyline. Any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down. It's it's sacred law of Team Star. This high cool clique high school clique. Very serious. Just walk up in slow motion. That looks like a very awkward handshake. No one here looks sincere. Oh, hey, that's a good thing to have, Dazzling Gleam. Although, I'm pretty sure that's a special type, and my, uh, my fairy team member is, uh, is Tinkaton, so. Not useful to me at the moment, but, uh, well, if I still had Gardevoir... I, I don't like this character. He's just an annoying child. The Richie Rich of Team Star. Hello, meet Clive. He's the hippest, coolest new student at Naranja Academy. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. Why join a group like Team Star? 
What a question to ask someone you've just met. My answer is the same as everyone else in the team, because I was being bullied. Did It did used to have an issue with bullying, but now it doesn't, because Team Star is here. I guess. Bullies no longer go to school. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them, and an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it didn't escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. And the students, okay, just of their own accord, they all dropped out? How was the principal not aware of this taking place? My former deputy deleted all records of the incident. That, that, that sounds very illegal. This sounds like, like, I'm, I, I'm sorry, again, I've, just, I've seen too much anime with this, like, high school is the most serious shit ever. A bunch of super-powered high schoolers have their delinquent squad. It's such an overdone trope. I, not these days, I guess. It's more like a 90s, early 2000s trope. We're bringing it back for Team Star. Alright, I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for Team Star's actions. But it was not intended as a punishment. Team Star were the victims, after all. Persona 5 did it, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. Uh, Tenjo Tenge. Maple Story had, like, a spin-off story that did it. Uh, ba Kenichi, The Mightiest Disciple. Pierce's intent was to shield himself from any blame. I'm glad Baki the Grappler didn't. Kind of. I mean, Baki the Grappler is a show where the main character starts at, like, 13 years old, but also, like, the first opponent he fights is a, is a fucking Bigfoot. It's like a giant demon ape. He just goes he just goes up to the mountains and starts the, like, badass backwoods martial arts training. Amazingly enough, the, uh, the most powerful people in the world are not a bunch of high schoolers. Uh, it's, it's one high schooler in Baki, but he's, he's special. All the current teachers were brought in a year and a half ago. This is like, they're talking about this like it was a cataclysm. Like th this was the final fantasy moment that the world ended. One and a half years ago, the entire academy was destroyed and rebuilt from the ground up. Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. There's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. He's like a slightly less shitty Dio Brando. Only slightly, though. I'll bet Ortega probably doesn't kick dogs. I'm not positive, though. Hello. Not Penny. Yes, I got the, I got the star badge. The Rutabaga squad is as good as finished. Even Ortega... I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. Clive has also performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that you're acquaintances. Have you known each other long? <sighs> Not all that long. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Oh, I was just musing.
she's just repeating what we were literally just told. There's so much repeated dialogue in these Team Star bases. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies dropped out of school, and Team Star ended up the villains of the story. They bullied the bullies. You know, you know what? That all see sounds completely fair. The, it, the story could have had a happy ending there, but then, like, I guess a bunch of little shit grunts joined and just, like, stank up the team. This would have been a happy ending had they just dissolved Team Star after that event happened. But, uh, they didn't. Alright, more TMs. What are the- what- what have I been getting from Penny? I don't even remember what rewards I've been getting. Did Persona 5 have, have, like, the four pillars thing? The four pillars of high school, or whatever it was. That, that, that's a very common part of the trope. It's always gotta be four. Team Star has five, usually it's four. Team Star just wanted the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. Yeah. What a massive idiot that boss was. Creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would work out. I don't know. I don't think you're an idiot, Penny. I didn't say me! It took me, like, like two of the bases to guess where the story was going, so... I guess that's less predictable than a Pokémon game usually is. Oh, Fomantis. I don't have one of those yet. My Breloom is... You know what? Time for a picnic. Let's make a sandwich. When I make a sandwich, I like to use only three strawberries and I like to put them all in the middle. Yes sir, that's how I like it. Oops, one fell off. Can't eat that anymore. Let me just put the pick over here. That's a good place for it. I sure do love eating bread with a, a thin layer of, of jam on it. And two strawberries. Three stars. Is it even possible to get under- is it possible to get a one-star sandwich? I don't know how you do it. Alright, good picnic. Where's that, uh... Where's that Fomantis? Oh, they disappeared. I guess picnics clear spawns. Uh, while I'm thinking about it. Where's the seed bomb? Actually, can it, uh... I think it's- I think it learns seed bomb naturally. Yeah. I don't need to use a TM. I can always relearn stun spore in the future, if I so decide. Or 
orange floet. I don't know how rare the colors are. Picnics despawn all the way. That makes sense. Rip! I might have came on a little, little strong there. I'm, I'm gonna have to get a Fomantis off stream. Darn. Oh, I'm sorry, there's just a wild blissey? All right. Well, I don't usually like catching like fully evolved Pokemon, but happiness evolutions are such a pain. This sa this saves me so much trouble. Assuming I can catch it, even if I can't, just knocking it out is like a bunch of EXP. Alright, so what's next? Uh, I guess I'll go to the Psychic Gym next. And so the cycle repeats. Stay asleep. Uh-oh, it knows double edge. Well, I'm glad it used that before I got it down to one HP. Maybe a little bit arrogant to think I can catch a Blissey in a, in a regular Pokeball. Alright, I give up. You don't want to get caught? Fine. I'll catch another one, off stream. Lava Plume. That gets stronger with full HP, I believe. No? Okay, it's just a, uh, it's a higher burn probability move. I don't remember, I, I don't remember if it's like 30 or 50%. It's, it's a high burn chance. I already have, Flamethrower is stronger though. I won't learn it for now. I could, uh, I could always remember it in the future. All right, what does this thing turn into? Hopefully, something cooler looking. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Arctibax. Ice fin Pokemon freezes the air around it, protecting its face with an ice mask and turning its dorsal fin into a blade of ice. I also need to, uh... How many coins do I have? How many Gimme Ghoul coins? Probably not anywhere near the number I need. I need, a uh, 999 for, uh, the evolution.
I have a little under half what I need. Gonna take some grinding. I haven't been uh, I haven't been dutiful about checking the gimmigul spawns every day. What is this? An ice type Gudra? Ice type Gumi? What are you? Wait, don't run away. It's... Oh. It's uh, the fairy evolution. Sylvia. That's the one. There's some Skrelp out there. Gyarados. No, leave me alone! I will, against my better judgment, try to lead with Junior once more. I do need to do some, like, regular non-gym leader trainer battles. I, I gotta level up a little bit. Also, I, I have, like, I have EXP candies. I could just be a great big baby and cheese it. Oh, it does Giga Drain. All right, Junior. You need help. Hammer. Hammer the bug. That, wow, it survived that. Come on. Let me see if I can slow down this battle. There's a blue floet. I think white are the rarest, right? And then blue are the second rarest. No, I already caught a blue. I caught a blue earlier. Grumpy. Do I dare? I'll, no, I'll stick. I'll stick with. Uh, I'll stick with. Amy. What is this? Uh, brutal swing is 120 power because it's super effective. I could have. Uh, I could have increased that with a Terra type. Yeah, you know what? I haven't terrestrialized in a little while. I could also just use the giant hammer. That would be, like, 240 power. It's such a broken move. but I will terrestrialize for the novelty of doing so. This, this Sylveon... It wants to be here so badly. It, wa it wants to, it wants to join my party. Is it, Sylveon's a friendship evolution, isn't it? 
No, it's not. That's, uh, Espeon and Umbreon, and those might have changed. They might have updated those to not be friendship. What type is it? Is it, uh, it's fairy? Fairy Terratype. Ferrotype. It's also level 50 and it's super effective on me. That's a very Sailor Moon decoration on its head. I guess appropriately given the fairy type. No, Sylveon evolved with, uh, the equivalent of, like, the play-with-your-Pokemon feature of the previous games. How does it evolve now, Sylveon? So many Pokemon that have evolutions tied to mechanics that are removed from subsequent games... have to have their evolutions updated. Uh, Feebas. Feebas was a big one. Friendship with a fairy move. So are Espeon and Umbreon still friendship? I remember, I, I feel like they and Leafeon and Glaceon, I thought they were changed to stones at some point. Or for some game. Go to your box. What's that item over there? Okay, Leafeon and Glaceon were updated to stones, but not the other two. I kind of wish they were all just stones. We have enough stones. Just make them, like, Sun, Moon, and Moonstone or something. Dawn, Dusk, and Shiny Stone. Why you gotta make Eevee evolutions hard? Alright, I am now going to uh, take the easy way out. And I'm gonna feed him a bunch of EXP candies. Junior, you need this. I could also do that for, like, Sarah Ledge, I guess. Wow, that wasn't much. I thought that'd be more. Oh, that was... Okay, that was an, up, that was an upgrade. Calm Mind. Do I want Calm Mind? I know what it does, but I've got- I have so many useful moves on this thing. I don't need Calm Mind. Why evolve an Eevee when you can just catch the ev evolutions? Because it's- they're- they're harder to catch? I don't know. I'm the only one having issues with the stream. Uh, no you're not. I'm having uh, internet issues on my end, so hopefully that clears up in a uh, in a minute or two. Teleports using a strange power and switches places with one of its allies. Okay, isn't that what teleport does now? 
Just plain old regular teleport. Uh, do I want to use rare candies or do I want to conserve them? Sandstorm, nah. I'll, I'll save the I'll save the rare candies. I don't know if we're gonna get the final form of the dragon though, because. Uh, if it's like the other pseudo-legendaries, that's probably, uh, 55. I kinda wanna go fight that, uh, Kaparaja just for the Pokedex entry. Hey! Elephant! You and me! The little ones are worried, as they should be. Junior's got levels now. He's finally fighting something at a lower level than itself. Where am I going? I don't need to be going up here, I just, I kind of want to. Ally switch is a doubles move. Oh, okay, I see. I get the picture. If Arvin can level to 60, so can you. That's true. I, I, I do need to get pretty high to take on the final boss, Arvin. Bunch of Sneasels. I did catch a Sneasel off stream, so I've got one of those. What is this? What is this lonely ball? EXP candy. Sorons. Oh, hello. Haven't seen one of you yet. I know, I know it's a snowbird. We just haven't seen any in the wild yet. They changed the. They changed a form of snowbird. It was like a, a like the female form is different now. Oh, that's right, I can't spore grass types. Let's see how I can mess with the frame rates here. How bad can I make them? The flowers are far enough away that they are no longer interfering. Let's get a bird's eye view. Did Snover always have those things on its back? Was it in Sword Shield? I, d I, don't, I just don't think I've ever seen a Snover from the back before. During cold seasons, it migrates to the mountain's lower reaches. It returns to the snow-covered summit in the spring. That's a male one, I think. Bronze zone. Well, I do need those. Oh, no. Oh, I wanted to auto battle. Does it have levitate? I think bronze zone can have either levitate or heat proof. So it, it's a 50 50 whether its only weakness is ground or fire. I get no it's it's weak to dark again now because the steel no longer resists dark. Is 
the female Snover. I can get both forms. Oh, oh, I have, I have Junior out first now, though. Uh, maybe Crunch won't kill it. Yeah. I am making an effort to get uh, every form of the Pokemon I see, because they do keep track of forms in the Pokedex. I am still in the red, so stream is still having issues. Internet shitting. Send help. Surely there's some there's must be a flight location around here. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to go here. I want to I want to make sure there's not there must be a flight location for me to unlock in this area. I refuse to believe that there are none at the northernmost part of the map. Come on, get item. Sure is a whole lot of nothing out here. This is our first time in North Province Area 1, I believe. I don't think we've been here before. There's a Noivern. Hello! Nope. Leave me alone. Some Go-Goats. What is that? It's a Halucha. A lot of Pokemon that we have seen before. There's nothing new up here so far. What is that? Oh, it's Indeedee. Hello? Uh... There's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. Do I want to? What? Hello, what's this? Is this gonna... This is gonna initiate like a legendary encounter or something. If I pull out seven of these, do I reset the universe? Hello, Cure Ribbon. Oh. Okay. Internet's still bad. Well, now I'm worried. I hope the, the video is going to be fine. Stream virtually unwatchable. I do, I do, if my internet is shitting, there's not much I can do but wait it out. But I can, uh, you know what? I will try to, I'll try resetting the stream. That's what I'll do. So be right back, hopefully. Well, I reset my router. I am back. 
and it is still in the red, so I, it just looks like Comcast is randomly shitting, and there's nothing that I can do about it, so... For the sake of YouTube, I guess I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll continue. And, uh, hopefully it will resolve itself in the next ten or ten minutes or so, I would, I would hope. Since this is a fire grass type. Hello? We watching that? Just uh, go this way. I did off stream. I, I managed to get hit by a Voltorb explosion, and it's it, it's no, nothing funny happens. The trainer just like shields herself with her arm. That's it. An extended arm is enough to protect yourself from an exploding Voltorb, apparently. Hello, Gleam. Uh, yeah, I can I can see your chat messages fine, and my download seems to be fine. It's just one of those times. It's just randomly shitting, and there's there's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. I can either uh, I can just keep going for the sake of the the full vo the vod on YouTube will be fine. Be able to watch it in full, you know. The full Scarlet Violet 24 frames a second on YouTube. Otherwise, I just I could just like stop the stream and resume in half an hour, maybe. Is the only other option. Oh, come on. You're gonna mean look me? I don't want to fight. Why we gotta fight? Why can't we be friends? You brought this upon yourself. Dumb bird. This is the dumbest Murkrow I've ever fought. It forces me into a battle with it and then invites me to do the finishing blow. And Honchcrow. Honchcrow just watched. Ice beam? I'll take an ice beam. And what is that? Is that the edge of the world? That's not on the map, is it? Is there really like a world's edge? Can I go there? The three pledge TMs were on an island, kind of like this one. It was like a little, uh, a little three-pronged fidget spinner island.
There must at least be a watchtower or something up here. Hello, what was that? That's a, that's a cool cliff you got there. It's moving. This, is, is this one of the ten sites of Paldia? It should be. Hello. I guess I should fight her. I need trainer experience. How high a level is she going to be, though? I wish I could choose how many potions I want to use at a time. That'd be nice. What a shame. It was just as people were starting to come in, too. I was up to, like, five viewers. Oh, she's part of the... She's part of the Great Resignation. She's happy to be free from her office job. What is Wugtrio? Wugtrio is pure water type, right? Yeah. Well, I definitely don't want Junior out for that. I typed that five or so minutes ago. I don't know how to tell when this, uh, when this shitting is done with. Because the rest of my internet works fine. It's only OBS that is having having trouble here. Alright. After this trainer battle, I will go offline again. I will give it, I don't know, 30 minutes. And I will tweak one setting in OBS. I have I have one idea. There's one thing I change between streams. At uh, restream suggestion, it is theoretically possible that restream was full of crap. Susanna, the office worker, you have the privilege of being the uh, being the one trainer I fought at two frames per second. this real quick. Alright. Alright, once again, I will hopefully be back in a little bit. Alright, for reals this time. Everything seems to be working. I think we're good. Uh, I see some Finneons and Luminions out in the water, which I have not seen yet. And I've been wondering where they were. I want to grab one real quick. Hello again. Yeah, it was just uh, random internet shitting. I tried resetting my modem. Nothing changed. Nothing to be done about it. What happened? I, uh, I fought an office worker, and that's about it. I haven't found anything else of note up here in the northernmost parts of the map. Look how northern we are. But it's downright tropical up here. 
actually, it changed really quickly from icy mountain to tropical island area. That just occurred to me how, how abrupt that change in environment was. Also, hopefully the YouTube video looks fine. I will have to uh, splice together all now all three pieces of this stream for the upload. I have been uh, working to fill out the Pokedex off stream. Actually, I, I should check how far I got in that. I'm still missing some version exclusives. I don't have uh, Miss Revis. She is a uh, pilot exclusive. And a few others. I think the red, uh, red basculine might be in violet, because I've only seen blue so far. Uh, sure, you're welcome to uh, hop in the lobby. Just let me know when you're ready, Whipper. Never thought... I always thought Finneon was kind of a waste of a Pokemon. It's, it's like, it's just a fish. That's uh, that's really all it is. I, I get that they like to have their quota of fish Pokemon, but usually there's like... Uh, there's some angle to them. Chinchow was neat. Chinchow was a neat, uh, an interesting, not too fishy design. Gave us a water electric type anglerfish motif. Even Magikarp and, and Phoebus are kind of like cartoony fish, but uh, Finneon is, it's, it's just a fish. It's just a pure water type. Pretty normal looking, everyday, see it in an aquarium fish. Why why do you not wanna Is this is this actually the edge of the world? Is there really nothing past here? This is the edge of the map. They just put a giant wall here. I wonder if this is where DLC will be in the future. If they're gonna take down this wall, Mr. Gorbachev. I don't know why I expected it to be like an island completely surrounded by water, but uh, I guess Paldia is not completely, uh, completely ocean locked. Let me just climb up this wall because this one I'm allowed to climb. Unlike this wall to my left, which I am not allowed to climb. Some walls are simply too wall to wall. Nope, oh, this is a special wall. Speaking of special walls, rest in peace, Blissey. Oh, hello. Go, go. I didn't mean to run into you. It looked like there were four item balls in the distance for a second there. Uh, I don't I don't really want to have you in the front. I could try to aerial ace it. Junior's just gonna die again. Okay. Does it not know any grass moves? That wasn't very damaging.
Finneon is the Eevee evolution that never was. That, that's the other thing. I feel like that, that happened in Gen 4. Like, when I first heard the name Finneon, I thought, oh, that's an Eevee evolution. But wait, we already have a Water Eevee evolution. That can't be right. I just saw it punch. I never paid attention to the punch animation before. It has like a little rubber arm that comes out. Let me see that again. Yeah! He's a little mushroom Luffy. Well, I found what I assume to be the warp location. There does appear to be a watchtower here. And a dragon trainer? Yeah, there's a lady dragon tamer. Is there a gimmigool atop this watchtower? A dragon pulse, that's nice to have. There it is. Part of me wants to get a move on to the Psychic Gym, but I also... I should be fighting trainers, right? I'm still... My, my team is still under level 50. She said something about three sisters. I completely ignored her because I don't care about her family. Drag Alge. Uh, Dragon Poison? Does it levitate? I don't think it has levitate. No, it doesn't. Ow! Oh. Junior. Junior, why are you such a disappointment? We're uh, only a couple levels away from getting Mousehold's signature attack. Mousehold is very soon going to be just completely broken. That just seems unfair. Junior did so much of the work in that battle. No EXP. Nine thousand prize money, that ain't bad. What's around here? Golducks, there's a Vaporeon. It really is strange to me that they just added wild Eevee evolutions. You just go out and catch one. I mean they were in Sword Shield, but they were like uh they were special appearances. There was like only one of each of them. I think they spawned once per day. Maybe it's still like that in this game. Maybe this is the one Vaporeon on the map. Acid Spray. Got some Swablus. This is- okay, so this is just the dragon area. I'm cool with that. I like dragons. Haluchas. What are you, Indeedy? Alright. So we've seen, we've seen pretty much everything that is on offer here. I wonder if we've finally seen all of the, all of the Scarlet Violet, all the new Gen 9 Mons aside from the Area Zero ones, which I know about the Area Zero ones. I've seen them in passing. I'm, I'm at least loosely aware of all of those. How 
How many towers are there here? Three? Okay, there's, th there's three dragon ladies, so I guess that makes sense. That tracks. Do I get a prize for beating all three? I could take pity. I could just use, uh... I could just use rare candies to, uh get Junior up to Tyranitar level before the stream's end. Maybe that's all he needs. Maybe he just needs to evolve in order to stop being, you know, one-shotted by everything. You can join now. Uh, let me fight this gimme ghoul. I, I don't want to be... When people join the lobby, it tends to work me away from wherever I am, so... Grab some Gimmigool coins. The Gimsgale Gimmigool. Fifty. All right, that's what I've been usually getting from these. I know it can range from. Uh, I think it's like 40 or 50 minimum to the highest you can get is 777, 777 coins, but that's like a 1% chance. Alright, connected. Union Circle, are we... Are we friends on uh, Switch, Whipper? I hit the wrong thing because it's, it's the menu is moving slowly. I haven't. I've never seen that screen before. I've never looked at... It's just like a screen of all the available uh, Terra battles, I guess. A-C-U-X-V-G. Anyone else wants to join, you're welcome to. Sounds like it might just be Whipper today. I think Elf was in with me for the previous stream. And before that, uh, Sauce was here. I am guessing that Shonk is a whipper. Again, it'd be nice if you could have a different trainer name from your uh, your like profile name. Games usually let you do that. Not Pokemon though. Hello, Mister Cool Dude. Your motorcycle helmet. Good chance to heal my party. I kind of want to. I kind of want to fight all three dragon ladies, and then I'll go to the psychic gym. I feel like I'm not going to get any kind of proper reward for all three of them, though. So, what's the warp point called? Surely there is a warp point here. No? Oh, was that it? I went all the way around the coast. There must be one around here. There can't just be a complete lack of warp points all the way across here. I guess there could be, but that it, it seems kind of, it just seems strange for there to be that big a, uh, a blind spot. All right, Dragon's Wing.
Uh, Whipper, which version are you on? Are you on Scarlet or Violet? And is there anything you were hoping to do? You need, like, uh, Pokemon trades or anything? Please don't die. Noivern is a special attacker. It's using physical moves. Maybe I should just quit while I'm ahead. Maybe I should just swap out. Yeah, keep using physical moves. Hey, Junior finally won one. I want an early ability patch for anything. Uh, I don't think I need one yet. I was able to get the uh, hidden ability mouse hold because Gleam was uh, breeding them. I guess the... Yeah, I never took a, a good look at the map. I guess this is the, the landmass that Paldia is attached to. And there's just no roads leading out of the country. At some point, this country had a politician, and uh, he got that wall built. It was a tremendous wall of stone. It even extends out over the sea. I don't think I fought you yet, Dragon Tail. I'm on Scarlet like everybody else. Yeah, most people got Scarlet. Jack is on Violet. Uh, Vinny got Violet. I think Gleam is on Violet? I know two people personally who have Violet, and, and Jack is one of them. And maybe it's a uh, girly. Another special attacker. However, it is... It may have a water move, so... Uh, I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna swap out. I think it learns, like, uh, muddy water. Probably surf. Aqua tail. There you go. game, by default, seems to like camera angles that just don't show you or your Pokemon. I've been getting a lot of those unintentionally. 18,000? Dragon Tail's rich! Get out of here. Golduck. Golduck, are you holding me hostage right now? He's not going to leave. He's going to wait until I close the dialogue box so he can take a sucker punch at me. That's exactly what he did. There's a whole, there's a whole gang of Golduck here. Some of them with teleportation powers. Seed Bomb is nice to have. Level 51. Mousehold needs one more level. For its sure kill move. What is that? Oh, that's Whipper. I was wondering, is that there's a wild Coridon over there? Alright, well, I, I beat all three Dragon Trainers. I got a nice sum of money for it, but... I don't know that there's any other reward for it. 
so uh, I guess off I go to the psychic gym. Why is Golduck hanging out with a bunch of dragons? And Vaporeon, for that matter. Uh, I could. You know what? While I'm here, I'll go unlock the fly location. I'll go unlock the Pokemon Center. Then I'll go to the Psychic Gym. I swear. I just gotta make sure that I'm climbing the wall that I'm allowed to climb. Not the end of Paldia Wall. The Stephen Colbert Berry. Oh, that was... That wasn't far at all. I was right over the ridge. I haven't seen this kind of terrain before. There's a phalanx. There's a... Uh, whatever the, 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 the... Ponyard evolves into. I've drawn a blank on the name. What a cool type for a Pokemon. Dark and Steel. I always thought that, but the Pokemon itself looks kind of goofy. What, 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 why am I getting a Rotom call? Oh, this is because I'm too close to the fighting base. Hold up, and there is Team Star's last remaining squad. She must be using, like, a voice filter, if that's Penny. Yep, Clive is here. Cassiopeia is grateful to Clive. Water under the bridge. When we're finished with this base, will that be the end of Operation Starfall? No, we still need to handle the secret mastermind, the big boss. Hopefully they'll come out into the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down. Not that I would know or anything. What's the, like, what's the end game? If it's Penny, is she just gonna, like, once all five are down, is she just gonna come out and say, I'm sorry, I'm behind all this. I still have to fight you, though, just, like, because, I don't know. You wanna fight? Like, what's the point at that point? Tiny bamboo shoe. Okay. Scyther, please. Uh, if, if Cassiopeia is Penny, and Penny is also the one who founded Team Star, like, why not just say, oh yeah, it'll be over when we get all five of them. That's it. Team's done. Is it to, like, make a point. Like, because the other members of Team Star will still hold out hope if she doesn't also go down. She's got to take a dive, too. It's going to be something dumb like that. Hello. What, what is this? There's an outbreak going on. Let's go to Alfornado. Alfornada. Al Pachinko. I really just thought Al Pacino's name was Al Pachinko for a second there. That wasn't intended to be the joke. That sounds like it could be a, a, a miraculous villain. Al Pachinko. Or any other series with just really stupid, punny villain names could have an Al Pachinko. One Piece had an Al Capone parody. It was kind of, sort of, one of the good guys, arguably. 
kind of a gray area character, to my knowledge. I'll check out this outbreak real quick. Uh, is that the one? It's just Skrelp? That's not... I, I don't need Skrelp. There's Umbreon around here. Ampharos. Yeah, I'm, I'm quickly starting to think that I've seen... All there, all there has to be seen outside of Area Zero in this game. There's a Bagon. I think I have a Bagon already. Wait, hold on. No, that's, uh... That's Metatite. Did I see a Bagon? Or did I mistake Metatite for a Bagon? No, it was, it was a it was a Metatite. It was a Smurf. Because I think Bagon is a uh, Violet exclusive. So, yeah. I was thinking, oh, because Whipper is here, I could see that, but no, Whipper's not on Violet, so that's not the case. Uh, this is just, uh, well, the wild Pokemon here are only level 40. That gives me some hope for the gym. Grab a set of keys while I'm here. Remember in Red Blue how uh, Blaine had uh, locked the door to his gym and made you go through an old mansion to get the key? Imagine that, but it's a cleft key. They could do that in a remake. They could have done that in Let's Go if they wanted to. Also, kind of a dick move. What the hell, Blaine? guitar. Leftovers are nice to have, but they do make these catching battles take longer, because it has to proc every single turn. Does Klefki have that low of a catch rate? You have a million Ultra and Great Balls. No, I want everything to look nice and uniform! Everything's gotta be in a Pokeball. It'll look ugly in the PC otherwise. It kind of looks ugly when I go to the Pokemon Center and one of my six balls is the Luxury Ball, but uh, the mouse was a gift from Gleam, so I, I will continue to use it at least for the duration of this playthrough. After the playthrough, I might uh, I might breed it into a regular Pokeball, the, uh, the hidden ability. Babies inherit the balls. They do from the mother, I believe. So if I have a father with the hidden ability in a luxury ball and a mother in a pokeball, then I should I would in theory be able to or I could just use an ability patch. That's also an option. I don't want dynamic punch. What am I doing? 50 accuracy, get out of here. Once it absorbs a key's metal ions, it discards the key without a second thought. However, it'll hang on to keys it favors for decades. Metal ions. Mm -hmm. 
zoomers be looking at this wall, thinking, what are these mysterious runes? What could they possibly represent? Symbols of a bygone time. Forever a mystery. You said that there are, uh, there are a lot of balls in this game that you only get one of, Elf. Like, every, every 20 Pokedex entries or something, you get one special ball, and only one of it, ever. Which makes them all kind of pointless. Like, a lot of them are the, uh, are the gold-silver balls, the, like, the fast ball and the, the heavy ball, all those kinds. Starting at 260 Pokedex entries. Uh, 222 is where I'm at. It, it rained while I was paused. Also, I do that constantly. I'm in the menu, I press B to back out, and then I end up crouched afterwards. Alright. Uh... This is the psychic gym, right? I sh I really want. I want Tyran. I want Tyranitar. I want him to be a dark type. How many rare candies do I have? Oh, that was more than I expected. Junior. You're getting drugs. Eat up. That wasn't enough. I don't want to use a rare candy when it's that close. I only, I only have 14 of them. Look, they're so rare. I might never find a rare candy again. What are you? Like an old biker lady? No, it's just like an old lady. We just like auto battle one wild Pokemon. Come on. Something. Anything. Spawn! Only when you're looking for po for wild Pokemon that none show up. Get him! <laughs> Look at it hop! Like and rock. There he goes. Not 11, just 3. 3 is plenty. Here we go! My boy! Extremely strong. It can change the landscape. It is so insolent that it doesn't care about others. Oh, is that all? Uh, Mousehold is also very close to that, uh... Very close to that, at that move. Uh, Dragon still needs some training. Samus is getting there. Samus is at a point that it is probably usable. Level 46. Alright, 
We're going into the Psychic Gym with a fully evolved Tyranitar. Watch him still get one-shotted somehow. Somehow. I mean, if they have a fighting move. Especially if they have a special fighting move. Aura Sphere is, is gonna just wipe out Tyranitar. I also have my... my uh, Samus has Shadow Ball, so she... She might be able to get a few hits in. Hello. Finally time for your last gym. I'm 0% worried. Yeah. Fruitful. Nimona likes fighting, and she likes fruit. Tyranitar is super bulky on the special side with Sandstorm. Oh, yeah. Does it have Sandstream? That's its ability, right? Normally? Yes, it does have Sandstream. Mine has a de decent, uh, decent nature. Increased defense, lowered special attack. Welcome to the Alfornada Gym. Do you think somewhere in the world there's a person named Jim Alfornada? We're, oh, we're exercising. But I'm sorry, this is the Psychic Gym? Is, is this like a battle mage? The Emotional Spectrum Practice, created by Tulip herself. Okay. We're gonna go exercising to learn about emotions. This, this region has some weird gym leaders. I fucking hate this test. That's a good sign. That's a nice message to read in chat. Alright, I'm looking for a lady in like a, in like a sweatsuit. Here we go. Are we gonna do a dance class? Are we gonna DDR now? Hello. That's a model. Is that is that the gym leader? She looks way too unique to not be the gym leader. That's clearly the gym leader. Tulip. Is that her name? Osu! This is where we do emotional spectrum challenge practice. Why is our why is your battle st Oh, that's one of the teachers. That's right. It's Dendra. I haven't like seen her, but I've seen pictures of her. The loser has to do with the winner. Uh, oh. Oh. Never mind what happened. Point is, this is my chance to get a workout and help my friend when I don't have classes. Rules of Emotional Spectrum Practice, or ESP for short. That's not what it stands for, but okay. I'll show you a certain movement, and all you have to do is copy it. We Simon Sezen. We gotta have a rhythm game in Pokemon. People love minigames. Emotional spectrum practice. Get out of here. It's easy to forget how big Slowpoke is. I always think of it being smaller. It's not quite a rhythm game, and it's also not quite Simon Says. So does every Pokemon in the game have these? These expressions. All of Samus's expressions just seem to be touching the shoulder. Most of them. 
two of them. Alright. What if, what if I am just, like, not a very expressive person? Do I just, I, my, does my gym challenge end here? Okay. Now we fight in, uh... I guess it makes sense that we have gym battles, sure. I've gotten too used to weird tests that don't have gym battles. Thomas used. It, it looks like she's charging the... It looks like she's using the charge blast, too. She's using her arm cannon. Curlia. Probably gonna regret this. I have harshly lowered special defense, but... Uh... Level 43... I was told this gym was like level 50-something. I, I feel as though I was misled about the Psychic Gym. A pleasant surprise, I guess. I'll get the chance to up... I didn't need to evolve Tyranitar for this. I can hear your Pokemon and your muscles screaming with delight. Okay, second half. Do I get bonus points for doing it more than once? I can do it so many times within the time limit. Look how angry I am. I'm so angry. One more for measure, for good measure. There's no sadness in Pokeverse. There's just, uh, there's angry, there's surprise, there's happy, and there's very happy. The, the four emotions of the world of Pokemon. It's okay to feel sadness. Don't listen to this gym trainer. You got plenty of time to fix it. How how could you how could you possibly fail that? Uh, you have so much time on that on that meter to do the thing. All right, Raphael sent out Grumpig. I'll just- I'll just keep firing my neutral B. That's- that's what Samus be doing. Oh, it has a rock move. They really had to reach to get a, uh, special type rock move. I think Ancient Power also qualifies, whatever that's supposed to be. It's just like a- a vague storm of fossils. That is Dark Samus's truck. Well, Dark Samus has like the electric one, right?
What's the shiny look like for uh, this this Pokemon? Indeedy. Is Indeedy psychic type? I, I thought I thought it was just normal type. I, do, I barely remember Indeedy. I thought it was like I thought it was a regional Audino. When I first saw it, I still think it should have been. It's okay. It's it's like normal psychic. I'll I'll, just, I'll kill it with fire. This Samus has it has a Sephiroth Shadow Balls. I'm, I'm sorry, did it just move twice? It said something wasn't affected by something. I also probably would have been better just using two flamethrowers instead of burning it. I guess. That, that's what confused me. I'll have to look back at the footage on that one. We made it all the way through the ESP exercise. Does that mean I have psychic powers now? Because that'd be nice. Those explicitly exist in the world of Pokemon. Although we haven't seen any in a while. They've kind of... They've stopped doing that as much since Gen 1. Gen 1 was full of people with, like, actual telekinesis and shit. And now we just... We stopped seeing the Psychic Trainer class, or the Medium Trainer class, or anything that could be su supernatural in the form of a human being. Only Pokemon are allowed to have powers now. We got we got to be realistic. If there's anything that the Pokemon world is about, it's realism. Probably go heal. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, that was just uh, that was just a weird gym class. Is all that was. Where is the Pokemon Center? How bad are the frame rates in this town? They're not great on this road. How can I make them worse? I hated it because it was impossible to fail and dragged on forever. Is that all of the gym challenges? I mean, how, how do you reasonably fail any of these? The, the, the Sun Flora one, you just have to track down the ten things. That's a hide-and-seek. The Olive Rolling one was uh, short and sweet, at least. The Rap Battle one was a little bit of a slog, but at least it was I, it was all Pokemon battles. It was also, like, the only doubles battles in the game. It seems kind of underutilized. Where, where where, did all the, like, doubles battles wild trainers go? Where, where's the twins class? I'd be down for more double battles. Especially since that's, like, the go-to competitive format. Like, official Nintendo Pokemon tournaments are usually in 2v2, right? It seems underutilized in the in the campaign for Pokemon. Hope they make another double battle only Pokemon game one day. They made a double battle only Pokemon game in the past. The Bewitching Beautician.
So the, their friends are the, gy the gym teacher and the beautician. Is she the final elite four member? The 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 gym the gym teacher. I don't know if she's actually the gym teacher. She looks like it. Let's keep the tagline simple. Naturally beautiful. She's she's like a, a fashion designer character. I hate her already. She is both an obnoxious stereotype and she just completely ignored me. Hello, Tulip. I must tell you that being a makeup artist is my main line of work. You just, do you like invent products? Also, how, what, what are those wings? How are they moving? How do, how, how do you do that? I'm sure my ESP exercise made you all the more beautiful. Doesn't that make you happy? Keep your Pokemon beautiful and clean as well. I see you have quite the aesthetic sense. She thinks Samus is beautiful, armor and all. I still don't like her though. Makeup is like magic. I can't, yeah, I... Psychic isn't supposed to be magic, though. That's more like the fairy types thing. I get it. It's a fictional construct. Psychic is basically magic, but... You know, it's supposed to have more of like a sci-fi angle. I, I liked it better that way. All right, so this is the new giraffe rig evolution for Rigoraf. Get it? I'm assuming that it is a normal psychic, so Shadow Ball would not work on it. I'll give it a burn for good measure. I didn't realize that uh, Colosseum and XT were only doubles Pokemon battles. Do you just, do you always use two of your Pokemon, or do you have, like, a, uh, like, a partner with you throughout the game? Alright, get in there. Yeah, how about a Sandstorm? I'm not only going to mess up your Pokemon, I'm going to mess up your makeup. This thing is... Okay, this thing's tall. It's a giraffe, granted, so of course it's tall, but... Uh, it makes Tyranitar look so short, short by comparison. Tyranitar is, what, like seven feet, I think? He's also only, like, 500 pounds. There was a time in my life that I could leg press 500 pounds. I could lift a Tyranitar. Gardevoir. Alright, uh, Psychic Fairy. Send in the hammer. What else is uh, how how heavy is how heavy is Waylord? I don't think Waylord is that heavy. There are not a lot of uh, Pokemon weights are very very under what they should be logically. Seven feet of rock monster should be way more than five hundred pounds. Espathra. I don't know what that is. I assume it's psychic. Let's send my boy back out. Let me look this up. Waylord Bulbapedia. Oh, it's that thing. Just pure psychic. I can deal with that. Waylord is 877 pounds. I could not leg press a Waylord. 
if I worked out a lot. Th there are humans who could leg press a whale lord. There are plenty of people on this on this earth who can leg press 877 pounds. Florges. That's a fairy type. That's not so oh, because she's gonna she's gonna terrorize it. I got it. She's gonna make the very dumb decision of terrestrializing her fairy type, which presently has an advantage over Tyranitar, into a psychic type, which cannot hit Tyranitar. Be my guest. You vapid, vapid woman. She's like a fan design for a human version of Rarity from My Little Pony. Which, I liked the show at the time. It was fun. It was a nice distraction, but the characters are not... They're very one-dimensional. Maybe two-dimensional at most. This gym leader is just a stereotype, is what I'm saying. All right. Get fucked, Tulip. I evolved my Tyranitar for you, and I probably didn't need to. Yep, I'm 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 a very beautiful ba baby. Truly amazing. Uh, perhaps I should take you under my wing. No, I'm good. Thanks. This gym battle was a lot easier than you were led to believe. Yeah. I don't know why... I, I feel like... I would have to look back at the previous screens. I think someone told me it was like level 50, 55 or something. Just... What a, what a contrast. She does not look or act in any way like someone who would be into the... Like mental health exercises. Here we go. Psychic. That I can use. Don't go uploading that selfie to social media. I, I don't understand this character. How long have we been going? Uh, I actually, I can't tell how long we've been going, because we had, we were interrupted in the middle of it. Hello, you two. Well, I, I just, it just, I just realized how much narrower, uh, Squid Lady's face is compared to, uh, compared to Nimona. She, she looks younger in a weird way. Art was pounding. Most impressive, shining display of talent. I beat all the gyms. That means I get to fight Jita. Prince of the Saiyans! Prince of the Trainers. Hope to stand if you hope to stand alongside Nimona as a fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League. That's where you can take on the champion assessment. Oh, thank you. Now I know what the building looks like. Hurry up and get on my level. Rude. Gotta take the time while you're facing the Pokemon League to fine-tune my Pokemon's moves and revamp all my tactics. Alright, you do that. I'll just be coming at you with, like, six sweepers. Because that's what you do in single-player Pokemon. Nimona must be really happy she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her own talents. There's a special kind of strength that can only be reached by competing with a good rival. Count me among those eager to see how far you two can go. Northwest of Mesa Goza. I haven't looked into how to get to, like, the path there. I wonder if it's from, like, inside the school. And if there's, like, a victory road in this generation. Uh, we still have the final Team Star base to do. So I'll definitely do that. 
And then I guess... Have you just been here the whole time, Whipper? Just waiting? Well, th thanks for your support. I appreciate it. You're a good friend. What is that? That's a Salazzle. A gay bite. Uh, I guess I'll go. I'll go do the fighting base. I never went there. I never unlocked area one. I should go do that. All right, Gleam is still listening in. Uh, Restream does a very poor job of keeping track of how many people are here. It just says there's one person right now. I will do the team, the, the fighting star, Ringo Star base. And I'm considering if I should save the final bits for next time. Because we have Arvin, we have, I'm assuming, Penny, the most powerful member of Team Star, and we also have the Elite Four. So we have all three routes to do, like, the final bosses of yet. I need to get this Pokemon Center. I, I don't like not having a fly destination. What is that? Oh, it's a Slake King! A Slack King! Hello! Oh, I got another PP up. I can use that. Does PP Max still exist? I remember that being a thing in the early generations, but I think it might have been cut somewhere along the line, and just PP Max doesn't exist anymore. If you want your PP to be max, you now have to uh, do it slowly, gradually. Oh, hey, Heracross. I want that. No, Scyther! I, I failed to sneak up on the Heracross because of you. You can get it from the auction. Okay, so PP Max does still exist. I haven't been back to the auction. I think I'll make that the plan. I will, uh... I'll take out the fighting base, and then I'll stop today, and then next time I will do the, the finale for all three routes. Probably should have drain punched. It can take a hit. Although drain punch will be uh, not very effective because it's, uh, it's bug type. I think these will both be... Yeah, these will both be not very effective. Sea bomb is slightly stronger. The two moves that I want to increase the PP of the most are uh, Stone Edge and the Hammer. The Hammer is strong enough that I probably won't have to. I won't don't have to use it as many times in a single battle. But if I'm going through like the Elite Four, I'm going to be using it a lot. How mad do you think they would be if I hosted a picnic in one of the Elite Four's rooms? You think they'd be cool with that? Uh-oh. I knew that was coming. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. Doesn't it... Isn't it supposed to learn its move at 52? Did I misremember the level? Looks like that was swarm boosted. Maybe. When does... When does a mouse hold learn the 10-hit move? Uh-oh. Am I going to lose my dragon, too? I wanted it to get a boost, some boosted EXP by having it out. And no, I'm not going to use anything but a Pokeball. Don't ask.
Remember in Gen 1, where Great Balls were actually worse than Pokeballs in a lot of scenarios? Gen 1 was weird. Mousehole Pokemon. Learn set. 53, we're still one level away. gonna kill itself. Uh, do I try another ball, or should I try to, uh... I'm, too, I'm worried it's gonna kill itself now. Otherwise, I would revive the mushroom so I could spore. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, well. There will be more Heracross. You took out two of my team team members. Hey, here we go. Population bomb. Uh, I don't need Giga Impact if I have that. I probably don't need Super Fang either. I could replace that with something. So how this move works is it hit it's twenty power, ninety accuracy, and it hits as many as keeps hitting up to ten times until it misses, as I understand it. With the wide lens, I can boost it to 99 accuracy. So it's almost guaranteed to hit all 10 times. Then with Technician and Stab and Terra Stilization, it just deals a crazy amount of damage every single turn. Speaking of which... Big, why is it all these bamboo shoots? Get out of here, Scyther. Where's my wide lens? I bought one. I already had one. Prepared for this for this uh, eventuality. Here you go. There's there's different items that boost accuracy. I don't don't know that they function exactly the same way. I guess we have. Well, the only question now is to see what the, uh, the Ice Dragon turns into. Maybe I'll get it to, like, a uh, level 54 off-stream, so that next stream we can start by evolving it immediately. And then I can decide whether I want it on my, uh, on my final team or not. Again, it's a nice type, Ice Dragon. Where am I going? I'm going this way. It's a Spide Ops. What is that? Oh, it's a Lu Lux Luxray. I probably should have read the descriptions of those bamboo shoots. I have no idea what they do. Why is there a random Chinese area in Spain? Is this little Chinatown? There's just like a bamboo thicket with slightly stereotypical Chinese music playing there. What is this? What is this black monolith? Just, uh, just a crystal? Is this something significant? Okay. I'll come back later, I guess. Uh, I... I think this was lost during the internet shitting. I pulled... that needle that I found, and nothing happened. Nothing obvious happened, so... I wonder if that's maybe tied to those, uh, those locked vault doors I've seen in a couple of places. I've found two of those. I found a yellow one and a purple one.
Oh boy, a whole nother one Gimme Ghoul coin. Alright, well now that I have... Now that I have my ultimate normal type move, what else can, uh, can Mouse Hold learn that I can replace Super Fang with? I don't think I need Super Fang anymore. Could learn Beat Up, but I don't really... I don't think I need Beat Up. I could give it Tidy Up again. Which is Dragon Dance, but better. It will boost its attack and speed, so it can just become an even better sweeper than it already is. And what are my alternatives? What TMs do I have? Uh, agility. Eh. Low kick. Can't learn Confuse, Ray. It's weird how many things can learn the weather moves. You would think that all of these random creatures would not have the power to uh, affect the weather, but apparently it's a very easy thing to do. I learned Skill Swap. It's not really useful for single player, but, uh, man. What's its ability? The, the hammer things? I wonder. Imagine I used, uh, imagine I had a, a Tinkaton with skill swap. And I was able to, uh, get rid of a, an allied slack, slack kings. The, the truant, that's what it's called. Now, if, uh, if truant activates... Can I still not use, uh, could I still, the hammer, is, is what I'm wondering. Uh, Psychic or Psyshock? Do I want both? Am I really gonna, am I gonna use Will-O-Wisp? The burn is nice, but, uh, I, I, I don't think it's gonna come in useful that often. I could relearn if I ever really wanted to, but uh, Psychic is stronger, a little, a little bit stronger than Psy than Psy Shock. I'm thinking I might actually lean more towards Confuse Ray over Will O Wisp, just because it's, you know, a hundred accuracy. Why is why is Samus's Pokemon Cry a fart? Play that again. Play the sound. Why is it a fart? I guess I'll see how the Elite Four goes. If I need, if I need to rep to get Confuse Ray on Samus, I will do so. What was I doing? Uh, I'm going to the fire fire base. Is my final task of the stream. Sorry, the fighting base. I already did the fire base. That was the first one I did. Oh, there's a scissor over there. That'll be nice to remember for the future. Is that a scissor? No, it's a it's a cricketoon. Darn it! That would have been far too easy. Also, of co of course, the fighting base is in like a like a Chinese martial arts bamboo forest. I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna see, like, Ranma and his father jumping off the poles. No one's gonna get that reference but me. I don't care, I'm gonna make it anyway. Well, I'm... 
reasonably well equipped. I got a psychic type. I got a uh, got a fairy type. Tyranitar's fucked. I probably shouldn't bring him out here. All right, hello. It's uh, see, so she's like a pro wrestler, fairy princess with like glam rock face paint. You're impressive. Not many trainers can shrug off my Pokemon's attacks like that. I'm sorry. Clive's got game. Is he the champion? No, we know who the champion is. Never mind. It's Vegeta. Surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gates. Don't you trust your grunts enough to put them on guard duty? Watch your mouth! I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all! I used my Bisharp Evo in this area. Bisharp Evo? Bisharp evolves now? I thought Bisharp was the evolution, isn't it? Like, it's Ponyard to Bisharp? What a benevolent boss. Now, if you want to get on with our battle, I'm already on my, I'm already on my side. I, I want to see Dumbledore fight. Let me in there. Bisharp has a new evolution in this game. I didn't know that. Maybe it'll finally turn into something cool looking. Started talking to this girl since she looked like she was the team star. Then she and her Pokemon came at me without warning. We were just battling it out. Riri. Oh, she's got a nickname. You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, honestly. Now get away from here! It's not safe! Okay, this is this is the guard now, Carmen. You need to stop this. I ca well, I, now I kind of want to see Bisharp's evolution. I also never saw Primeape's evolution. I get that. That's another candidate for my team, I guess. Do I have a fighting type? Don't think I do. All right, I'll just ask. What 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 type? is Annihilate. Is it like fighting dark? Breloom if you keep it. That's true. Breloom is... Breloom is my catcher, but it's also, uh... It, it's been useful. Fighting grass is a nice... Nice coverage. Let me hear an hasta la vista! No. Oh, she did it. You don't need to demean yourself like that. Also, what 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 a large high school girl. There is an abundance of just very large women here in Paldia. It's it's a very very northern European. Sorry to spring this on you. Do you think you could handle this grunt alone? Oh, I don't know. This 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 particular team star grunt looks pretty tough. Don't be like that. It's not like you to hang me out to dry. All right. I'll try my best against Carmen. She probably does have like level 50, 55 Pokemon. Like yeah, she's a grunt, but if I came here earlier than this, Carmen would be no joke. Also, Scyther is there. Scyther's just Scyther's just here to watch. It seems really interested to get involved. I think it wants to fight. Primate. All right, I can take a, I can take a primate. Bring it on. I got I got space armor and an energy blaster. For a second, I thought it was like a regional primate, but no, it's just it's in the shade. The lighting is very, very intense in this game. Like in the shade, it really desaturates a Pokemon's colors. Fighting Ghost is also a, a neat type combination. The only one we've had, I think, is Marshadow, who 
who is mythical, so obviously not widely available. I lost! My defeat's not the one that matters! Yeah, go inside. Hasta la vista! Yes, I defeated the guard. No thanks to Clive. The fighting crew, the calf squad. Their boss, Aerie, is a skilled wrestler and coaches the whole team of Team Star in Pokemon battling. Because those are related. Of all the bosses, she'll likely be the most alert to hostilities after our de declaration of war. Might try to stop this raid in its tracks by challenging you to battle before anyone else. Yeah, she already did that. I can't tell you what happened. I am mute. Alright, we'll attack it head on. Is that the only reason we're not fighting her immediately? Is because uh, Clive is, is loosening her for us. Like like a pickle jar, not don't don't be weird. Oh wait, oh, I should have checked what my first three were. What, Clive? I thought you were already in here. Why are you at the gate? We're the last bastion of Team Star. Losing isn't an option. Yeah, we know the spiel. Beat 30 Pokemon. Oh, they got... They got two big ol' Hariyamas just waiting at the ready for us. I ma mouse hold is my second Pokemon. That's not good. Amy Rose is fine. Mouse hold is gonna go down so fast. Is that Passimian? Unfortunately, me seeing it here will not give me the Pokedex entry. That's also way bigger than I thought it was. I didn't think Passimian were that big. I think Mousehold is already down. So is, uh, I assume that, uh, Bisharp's evolution is still Dark Steel type. I, unfortunately, I already have a Dark type and a Steel type on the team, so in terms of coverage, that would probably not be a good addition. What a dumb Pokemon Flamigo is. It's literally just a flamingo. Uh, Samus is unfortunately, apparently ill-equipped to handle flying opponents. Samus, get over here! What are you doing? She's just standing around! Oh, that's cute. A couple of them still have mankeys. It seems like the Pokemon AI is the same used for wild Pokemon. Like, they'll still just come charging at me. But they can't initiate a battle, because there are no, like, actual battles in a Team Star base. This whole base just like a big path up the mountain. It is much less uh, wide open than the other star bases have been. All right, Clive, how you hanging in there? She's brought out her fighting car.
Weird choice to make every Team Star member have the same, like, final Pokémon, but, uh, I, it's flashy, I guess. Alright. Doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star! What if the person trying to take down Team Star is Team Star? I wonder how much of a tactician Airy here is. Alright, here we go. It's a good opening team. Good opening member. I am perfectly happy to fight a Toxicroak with a Psychic type. Ooh, it has Sucker Punch, though. That hurt. Will Psychic be enough? It will. Okay, good. Toxicroak and Grafai Eye both have, like, the poison middle finger thing going on. Lucario. Uh, I have... Fire would be good, but I don't think Samus is quite strong enough. Fairy won't work. The fairy will be neutral, rather. You know what? I'll just spore it. It's Neos Neosporin. Give it a spore and a drain punch. That'll that'll deal with Lucario. I surely won't get uh, wiped out immediately. Watch it use like Aerial Ace or something. Or a spear. Okay, that's neutral. It still hurt a lot because it's Lucario, but uh, that's okay. I can stick my fist in him and uh, suck all that life back. Yeah, give me that health. Let me suck up that key. I like how, uh, how Lucario's Pokedex entry says that it can sense any opponent, even ones that are invisible, and yet uh, I'm able to, I, I was able to sneak up on it and catch it off guard in the wild. Okay, here we go. She does, as as I guessed, have an Annihilate. It's fighting, I now know it's fighting ghost type, so that's... That's one weakness of Mousehold. It still won't work on uh, Ghost-type Pokémon. Uh, fighting, fighting Ghost. Tyranitar can crunch Ghosts, but it's just gonna... Well, no, that, that'll be neutral because it's also Fighting-type. Fighting Ghost. Would Fairy work, or is Fairy not very effective on Ghost? Samus is equipped for it, but, again, is she strong enough? Fairy is neutral on Ghost. Okay. So Fairy will be super effective. That'll be my next, uh, my next plan. After Samus inevitably dies here. Fighting Ghost. So I can Psychic or I can Shadow Ball. Yeah, it went first. Rip Samus. Super effective. So I'm guessing that's a ghost type move? Must be. Uh, fairy. It's a neat looking Pokemon. Primeape hasn't gotten any love in a long time. I'm happy for him. It just, it just vanished. It flash-stepped. Also a weird quirk, how uh, 
the final, the, the Team Star car just disables swap mode. Pass Simeon, alright. Uh, is Mousehold fast enough? Let's test it out. Let's see just how broken Mousehold is. I have play rough, which would be d which would be double effective. It would be, I think, 180 power. However, if this works as advertised, if I terrestrialize, population bomb should be 350 power. Will I be able to land it? Am I faster than a Passimian? All right, 10 hits. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eat it, monkey. All right, now for the car. Can I outspeed the car? Lend me your strength, car. Alright, level 56 versus my level 53. I could... I could have even tidied up to get, uh, to get more attack, but I hopefully I don't need to. Alright, I have 10 hits. Hopefully. One. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, no! This was a mistake! The hubris! Well, uh... What are my special attacks? I, 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 I gotta bring back, uh, I gotta bring back Samus. Is she, I think she's my only special attacker. True, its defense cannot get any higher. Is Samus fast enough is the question. Unfor high horsepower, unfortunately, will be super effective on Samus. So if she gets hit... If she's not fast enough, then I don't think she can help here. Mm, okay, you just, well, shift gear. That's gonna raise its speed even more. Yeah. And its attack. That, that's bad. Man, if I could land another Psychic, the problem is I don't think I'm going to be able to. Unless I put it to sleep first. I might have to do that. There's still hope. These things have been, like, way more of a challenge than the Titan Pokemon ever were. Like, the Titan Pokemon are supposed to be the raid battle bosses. They're supposed to be the big things that take multiple opponents to take down. No, the, the fucking cars are, are the challenge. All right, so I'm going to revive Samus. Does the car take Sandstorm damage? That's a good question. It's pure fighting type, so in theory it should. I'm gonna revive Samus. I'm gonna put it to sleep. And then I'm going to swap into Samus and hope that it stays asleep for one turn. Uh, I'm going to assume it doesn't take 1 16th of its health in Sandstorm damage. It's probably 
probably nerfed in some way, like 132nd. Maybe that was 116th, I don't know. Oh, what? What What do you mean it doesn't affect? Why can't I put the car to sleep? I don't understand. It's not grass type. It's pure fighting type. Its ability is stamina. Why, why, why can't it go to sleep? Should I try it again? Did... I think they're all just status immune? No. No, I definitely, I definitely use status effects on the cars. Didn't I? Isn't that how I beat the first, no, the I beat the first one by lowering its accuracy to the minimum. I could do that again. It's is it really just immune to all status effects? Must be part grass for some reason. Yeah, it's a funny joke. No, that that's bullshit. Maybe moves like nuzzle go through. I don't. Why? Why would it? It's bullshit. All right. Uh. Hmm. I could, well, it, I'm still not really under too much threat. I could just revive forever. That's especially bizarre because Titan Pokemon are not sta are not status immune. So it's now going to be faster than everything I have, and I don't have any like uh, I don't have any priority moves. I will have to refresh the Sandstorm. I'll have to revive War. I would like to, uh, I'd like to mud slap so that I can, uh, I can lower its accuracy, but I don't, it's just going to KO me because it, it's maxed out speed now. I'm just, I'm, I have to use the sandstorm strat. All right, time for a refresh. Get out here, Junior. What a stupid Pokemon. Imagine they did this for, like, in Gen 1. They had, like, special boss Pokemon for all the gym leaders that you just you couldn't get and use yourself. I guess in that, in that universe... Uh, Onyx would have might have actually been useful. Could have been given decent stats. Remember the Crystal Onyx? Back in the early days of Pokemon, the anime would do some weird things sometimes. That's true. Tyranitar, despite having a four times weakness to fighting and being the worst possible team member I could use for this gym, is the one who's going to beat the beat the car. Indirectly, granted. Fuck it. Well, no, it's not terrestrialized anymore. It, it has maximum defense. I'm just gonna go for the mud slap. Not that it'll hit anyway, but boy, if it did, that would buy slightly more time. Wouldn't that have been cool? Right, we just we we really doing this. Who used to have a priority move? I had one on some... It was the dolphin. The dolphin had priority moves.
Well, it's a good thing there are, like, a billion of every item in this game. It's a good thing I've been picking everything I see up off the ground. What a stupid... What a stupid way to end this. She's so mad. My trainer does not want to have to resort to this. Maybe it'll run out of PP. Maybe it won't be able to high horsepower anymore. Probably has like 15 PP for that move, though. Sandstorm's still going. I keep reviving this family of four. The children have, like, died and been resurrected so many times now. They shouldn't have to be going through this. Why did they add a, another Pokemon that comes with children? Well, how did I survive? Oh. Uh. Oh, that's still a thing? I don't know if the cars have PP. I'm sorry, they're status immune and they have infinite PP? Why, why do the cars get infinite PP? I, I don't have big PP. I haven't even done any, like, picnicking or anything. That's, a uh, Elf, that's a feature of the more recent games where if a Pokemon is, like, affectionate towards you because you play ad, play with it during the picnics or whatever the equivalent is, it will get buffs such as enduring a hit in battle. Only in single player, obviously. But I haven't done anything especially, like, affectionate or... Pl or I haven't done it, used any of those features, so it's weird that ju that just happened. All right, sandstorm it up, Tyranitar. You're the hero we need, but don't deserve. Just keep up the revives. I made sandwiches. True. I have been- I have been making occasional sandwiches. What's weird is that the Pokémon that's apparently most affectionate to me isn't even originally mine. Mouse, you're up again. I'm sorry to put you through this. I don't need to use any more revives. I'm good. I got this. Maybe, maybe it'll tough it out again. No, it won't. Alright, one more. Amy, you're gonna be the last one to go down. Must be because they're in the Luxury Ball. That's a g Well, no. The... Whatever, whatever it's called is a separate statistic from uh, Friendship. It, it's not the same. It's not the same value. The luxury, the luxury ball affects uh, friendship. Oh, it's been lowering its speed with one of its moves. All right. Well, GG. Your soup, your stupid car got sand in its engine and stopped working. I wiped out on this fight in my playthrough because I didn't see the need to give Armoru Psychic over Psyshock. Well, I'm, I guess I'm glad I did it. it I just needed a stronger Samus, though. My mine was not up to snuff to uh, survive those hits. Thank God for Tyranitar. All right, year and a half ago, was she bullied because of her size? Battle pri like, were they actually fighting, or what, or was were like Pokemon battles? I want to see Airy like suplex Ortega. God, I'd love to see that. Do not need to apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instructions, 
I'm making swift strides toward mastering the art of battle. So the DJ was the weakest, followed by Fire Girl, Mila, Mela. Then the Ninja, then Ortega, and then Aerie. Yep, she's uh, building up their, their combat aptitude so that they can be the five pillars or whatever and uh, take the school by storm. Literally a cataclysmic event that wiped out half the student base or I don't know how many bullies there were. There's a mysterious shadow hanging out in the background. Yeah, I, I see you, Whipper. <laughs> So are you, like, floating in the air? Or are you, like, standing up on something? I know that, uh... There's some cutscenes where trainers will not appear, but Koridon will. Remember that time we all got together and riffed on the gym badge designs to create our very own star badge? Is that where these come from? So, eh... <laughs> Do the gym do the gym badges in Paldia just suck? Does everyone make their own gym badges because they 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 all know that they could do better? It's this is a weirdly recurring thing between Team Star and now uh and, and uh Arvin. Also, her outfit has that that front piece. It makes her kind of look like a chef. The weird costume design, but I like it. You're all right, Aerie. Like to see you try out my trademark move. Close combat. That's a pretty good trademark move. You could do a lot worse. It's one of the that's one of the best fighting moves in competitive. Will your Pokémon look at you with such trust? Well, maybe not one. One of the most widely learnable useful fighting moves. A lot of things that don't seem like they should have fighting moves can learn close combat. Like the fucking bird. I remember all the close combat star raptors in Gen 4. This is the team star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. You seem to be on much friendlier terms with Ari compared to the other grunts. Why is that? First, there's no singular champion. Now everyone's making their own gym badges. You're right. The Paldian Pokemon League is kind of a shit show. No, no one really respects it, do they? I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty, too. I took, I took her no time at all to become popular at the Academy. I was queen of the class before she came along. Then everyone liked her more than me. Large women in Paldia. I'm telling you, it's the in thing. In the end, kids are always fickle. And once th once one thrill wears off, they look for something new. Or long the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. Guess I deserved it. But Riri, she chose to help me even though I'd been so horrible to her. I feel like this would have more weight if it wasn't tied to, like, a generic NPC model character. I, I guess I appreciate that they're trying to have more story than uh, Pokemon games usually do. Or more... More character-driven story, I should say. Usually the story is just a uh, bad guy wants to destroy world using legendary Pokemon. Things get out of hand. Oopsie daisy. Alright, Team Star bullied. Please don't take away our greatest tre- What is your greatest treasure? Is it the friends you made along the way? I, I think that's actually what she meant this time. Those are the only things we've had to cheese so far, is the Team Star cars. 
two of the three we had to do do in some like incredibly stupid way. Granted, because it's apparently they have like overpowered privilege is and are immune to status effects, as we learned. All right, we have claimed all of the star badges. Airy was the last. All five squads' bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should be back attending the classes at the Academy. Yep, nice work. That is Clive. I spent some LP today. I, I finally used them instead of cash. I still have a ton of it. Doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? I wonder where Penny is. Perhaps she's preparing for something. She's gonna come at this... This, like, basement dweller who has spent the past year and a half in exile is gonna come at me with, with six level 1 EV trained Pokemon. It's level 100 EV trained Pokemon. I'm not going to stand a chance against Penny. <sighs> big Boss. There's no need to search them out. The true identity of the Big Boss is me. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long. The right moment never came. I'm the one who brought the snakes to the uh, the snakes, the nukes to the. I was I was gonna make a the, the Metal Gear. Never mind. What was Otacon's dad? I forget his name. Okay, Penny, presumably Penny, is using the code that Team Star made together to force them to disband. She'll be wet. But why, though? They're done. Is this part of the code, too? We have to do things by the Team Star books. There's no other way. It's, it's a ritual. This revelation, I might just have an inkling as to their true identity. No. You think? After dark in the academy's schoolyard, but why? Usually, if you're doing it after dark, it's like to avoid the cops or something, or the school officials. Does she not know who Clive is? Really? Okay. Yeah, Clive, uh, Clive's just a classmate, you're right. I, I, I don't know why I'm being weird. Try fighting them now. Should I? Should I test the waters with the penny fight, or should I, should I save it till next time? Hello, hello, motorbike person. It would be fun. Do you really think I can't beat her now? I got, like, level 50-something Pokemon. Mid-mid-50s. Schoolyard. Uh... Does she mean the one that is, like, at the top? The, the indoor schoolyard? That weird place? Not out in front of the school, I assume. That would be a little bit too conspicuous. Samus is still level 48. You have to get through it to the menu, that's what I thought. I will test the waters 
with the penny fight. I don't plan to beat her today. I, I will, I will in, in alliance with tradition of ending the last stream getting my ass beat by Arvin, I will end this stream getting my ass beat by Penny. Hello, Clive. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Wow, that was impressive. I, I get you take the wig off, but you change your entire costume. The important thing is that he's happy. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss, was me all along! No, it wasn't. When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Is he protecting Penny? He's, he's trying to cover for her. He's trying to be a good teacher. I don't buy it. Uh, what am I? I am Psychic Fire, so... Maybe it has a Ghost-type attack? Who can I swap into? I'm hoping it uses a Ghost-type attack. I don't buy that the principal of the school organize a secret team to, like, get bullies expelled. Especially since that was, like, before he worked here? Oh, what? They dodged the first hit! Or it dodged the first hit. And now it's, it's gonna make me swap out. Man. Uh-oh. That's not good. That hurt. You can totally beat Penny, by the way. Yeah, I, I kind of figured. Especially with this broken mouse. Wake up! Awakening is just a, a, a spray bottle full of water. Alright, raised attack, raised speed. I am now in sweep mode. That's not as damaging as I expected it to be. Oh, because Reflect is still up, that's why. It might, it's gonna survive my all ten hits. Impressive! Don't yawn again! Well, I, I kind of want to use another tidy up, but I also don't want to let it get another reflect up. But then he's gonna trade. He's gonna swap into like a fighting type or something, and my mice are gonna get wiped out. You know what? Maybe that's fine. I'm not necessarily planning to aiming to win this battle. Obama Snow. Well, it's not a fighting type. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about hail damage anymore. 
Hey, wake up. Uh, oh, oh, he has a, he has a move that... How strong is Aurora Veil? If it protects against both, it can't be as strong as Reflector Light Screen, right? It's, it is also going to survive. Director, Director Clavel is uh, well equipped to deal with my mouse bullshit. Oh, it can only be used while snowing. I see. That's a, that's a good combination on Obama Snow. Unfortunately for him, I have a giant hammer. Probably overkill. I probably could have used the bug move. Is it gonna force me into the penny battle immediately after this, or will I have a chance to, like, save and come back? Uh, knockoff. Slightly stronger than Brutal Swing. Houndoom. Uh, alright. This is. Well, no. Hmm. Fairy is not very effective against fire. So, play rough will be neutral here. Alright. That may have been a mistake on my part. Curses. If only holding a metal hammer did not transform me into the steel type. Uh. I can punch it. Or I can just use Junior. Let's get rid of this snow. What an eclectic team Clive has. He'll always be Clive to me. Oh, come on! Oh, that's right, Aurora Veil was still up. It didn't seem to cancel, because it stayed up for one turn during the sandstorm. Among Us! What Pokemon have Snow Warning? Besides Obama Snow. I know it, some, some have it as a hidden ability. Uh oh, it has Spore. No, I'm sure others besides Obama Snow have it. Pokemon Snow Warning. Did this this dude loves his sleep moves. I'm sick of it. Vanillux and Aurorus, and neither earn the game, I see. And a Lola Nine Tails. Alright, burn, mushroom. That's right. Oh, I forgot. In generations four and five, uh, the the weather abilities were it were infinite. They didn't only last for five turns. Poltegeist. Is it water ghost or pure ghost? I think it's Water Ghost. Wow, 
watch uh, chat tell me I'm wrong because of the chat delay after I've already sent out Brella. I don't think I need to spore. Oh no, it burned me. Man, it, it's uh, it's kind of hard to ignore the uh, the low frame rate students walking by. As as nonchalantly as that, that dude was strutting like nothing weird was happening. Oh, it's pure ghost. I don't know, it's made out of tea. Okay, uh, pure ghost. So, yeah, I can I should be able to use uh I use Tyranitar. Get the sandstorm going again! What if it's milk tea? Well, then it's milk type. Duh. Remember when there was almost a bird type? Oh, it's not even a hidden ability for Vanillux. It can just it can just have snow warning. Quack! quack. Oh, he does ha still have the duck. I was wondering where that duck went. Oh, that's a fighting type. Ooh. Uh, it's water fighting. <laughs> I'm guessing it's fast, too. The duck probably has some speed on it. To think that I, definitely Cassiopeia, would be backed into a corner like this. Okay, so... How I'm guessing this is going is that he was in on it. But, uh, he's... He's, he's lying to me. He, he and, like, Penny were working together. Alternatively, it was all Penny, and he's just... He's ashamed that all this was happening, and he wasn't aware of it. And now he's trying to he's trying to take the take the blame, take the fall. Which I think I would like more. That's, that's a little more noble. I was gonna say, it better be water terra type. Otherwise, that would create a, a, a continuity question. Because if I got the duck, it would be a water terra type. Oh, it's gonna be fast. I forgot, it has the speed signature move. It's a shame that uh, if I send her Tyranitar again, it won't refresh the Sandstorm for another five turns. It has to have uh, run its course completely in order for me to start another five turn Sandstorm. Okay. Oh, it's fighting type. Of course it would have a fighting move. Alright, it is now up to Breloom. This was still a fight. He seems like he's on par with, uh, with Arvin's team. Oh, no, what happened? 
What? Did you, late girl? Did you just see that? Why are you just walking by? It's flexing on me. Look at it dance. Ah, uh, what is it? It is a. Uh, it's fighting water. Fighting water. Could my fairy do it? Well, fairy is super effective. Aerial ace. Okay. Do I do I burn a max revive? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it up to you. You guys tell me. Should I try to win this with a max revive on my Tinkaton? Or should I just take the loss and come back next time? That's my only option. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use Tyranitar. I'm not gonna sandstorm it out. Is this worth is this worth the max revive? I don't know how badly I'm gonna need these for the Elite Four. I'm gonna go for it. I don't think it has anything else that would be effective on you. It has something super effective on every member of my team except for the fairy. And Aerial Ace is unfortunately four times on Breloom. N nothing I do is going to help it survive that. It's speed boosted, so it's definitely going to move before me. What do I have? I pretty much only have Play Rough. It has a stab-boosted Aqua Step. How strong will this be? Strong! That, uh... Aww! Oh. Aww, oh, really? GG. What a fucking smack in the face. It's a slippery peacock. I couldn't get a hold of it. Look at it dance in victory. Lost 6,600 Pokebucks from that. I couldn't beat Clive. He was just too cool. I don't think you were going to win that anyway. No. I was able to take one hit, but even then, if I, like, fully healed... I, he would just immediately knock me back down again. So, uh, that was, uh, that was not gonna go well, in any case. I guess I could have just reset. I did save before the fight. Oh, well. I got a, I, I think I got a little experience from that. Well, that's it for today's stream. I'll have to uh, cobble together the pieces for the YouTube. That that could take a little while. Uh, tomorrow's Monday again, so I, I maybe I'll be able to stream during the week. I don't know. In any case, the next stream will be the probably final one with uh, Arvin, Cassiopeia, and the Elite Four and Champion. So look forward to that. Thank you guys for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.